if you don't recognize me as a hindu for what i am as a hindu then we are going to have problems we are majorities in the northern and uh, eastern provinces from 2000 years here. we were brought together in 1833 by the british we have no problems with the buddhist nor against the sinhalese our party thought well he has now started a new party for himself i am not interested in starting parties it took 6 months for them to push me into this i am still in the same position i don't want this uh, thing it doesn't make any difference to me this is quite enough being a chief minister of a province is a, is a, is a great thing but i'm not after any such positions you have to see the entirety of it we have the problem of the not not solving the uh, political problem it is being dragged on uh, war crimes not looked into lot of children are being brought from the south into the no- northern uh, uh, universities you see the, um, sometimes it's about 60% single stu- students are in this uh, in this universities so there are so many other matters which we have been discussing and uh, referring to so all these matters must be taken into consideration and a full fledged uh, solution to this must be brought in that is one aspect of it there is another aspect to it if suppose you go to any one of the other universities in the south if we go there and suppose say we must have nadeswaram music when you are ushering in you think the students there are going to allow you I mean, we, you you don't do that type of thing. So here you are trying to force yourself to come in because you have the power of the army behind you. Army has been here for a long time; they are continuing to be there, and there is connection between the army and the single students. Food is being prepared, uh, prepared and given by the army to these people, to these children. I am told even some of those people are still in the pay of the and they are they are informants and very uh, people f- from the army who are there. So. this connection between the army and some of the uh, students is not good at all for the university administration and for the way th- things are moving symbolic there is evidence with regard to the uh, connection between the army and this you see on the face of it on the surface what they say is true but we have gone into further into it because as the provincial council we have to be interested in other matters and uh, i have found that there are these people who uh, the, the army comes and gives food to these people uh, so i uh, got down some professors and got this information yes it is true they used to come here then we objected to it then they come and give you put it at uh, some place and then these boys goes and go and take the food so my question is why should the army provide the food for these people so if when you have such connections we have to look at it a little more carefully that's what, what i would like to tell you is what's wrong in our our telling about what we are we are tamils we have ethnocentric uh, attitude towards our community like how you as a muslim have uh, your own understanding about your uh, m- muslim community we have a right to talk about our uh, culture our way of behavior our uh, uh, aspirations so if you say anything of that borders on violence yes bring it to my notice i will take steps but uh, what is wrong in our talking about uh, various things pertaining to our background but doesn't that contradict me so when we are speaking from kalambu it's a different way now i was born and bred in kalambu i don't think anybody else in the tna has been born and bred in kalambu like me they have been for a long period of time in in their places of birth but i have been right throughout in my place of birth which is in the south now having been that when i came here i realized the aspirations of the people that's why i tell all these uh, b- b- members of parliament and others for heaven say come and stay in the northern province stay with the people talk to them and then go to the parliament and talk then there are so many things to talk you go and stay in kalambu and talk various things you live in a different uh, environment altogether and you want to talk about the tamil people here no i am talking by you staying here i have given my house to be looked after by security officers and various things and so much of money is being spent because i want to be staying here and look after the, the interests of my people so therefore there is a difference when you come here and when you are expressing the views and aspirations and wants and needs of our people especially after the war i mean i was not part of the war i was a kalambu man but when i come here i understand the real uh, significance of what is taking place everywhere what they are the, how they have been uh, uh, decimated discriminated and unable to t- uh, go forward in so many ways but then you singalese people must realize that you are not recognizing us properly 
And I am trying to teach you, or I am trying to tell you, I am trying to bring it to your notice, this is not the way to treat us. You can't treat, about, treat us just as minorities means, uh, some uh, um, uh, former president uh, Vijay Tunga said, uh, minority should be like uh, cypress trees around the tree. Now, that type of thing was mentioned. That is not the way to lo look at it. You must look upon us as, uh, as parallel trees. We are also trees. We have our own aspirations. We have our religions. We have our culture. We have our background. So, if you recognize that, this won't happen. So, if the single uh, masses in the south, thanks to all your newspapers and the websites, if they are thinking of me in that fashion, my uh, res uh, respond to, response to that is, I am not that. I am not at all against the Sinhalese, no. But I am certainly against the ignorance on the part of the Sinhalese in not acting properly in this matter. We have got to look at these problems humanely. We have to go look at these problems as equals. We can't be looking at it from the point of view of a dominating uh, attitude on the part of certain people. That's all. So, your domination, if I point out, you feel annoyed with me and you call me number one against. Well, that's like, yeah, I'll answer that. You see, passing of a resolution, passing of a resolution with regard to uh, genocide, passing of a resolution with regard to genocide must be looked at from the point of view of whether it is right or wrong, whether it is correct or not. If you can point out one incident that I have mentioned in that which is not true, which has not taken place, you are entitled to find fault with me. But if that is the truth, what's wrong in my telling the truth? I am telling everything, every little bit that is being brought out is the truth. So far, many of our people are, have not been prepared to come out with the truth. They are scared. They are scared because of the fact they have been kept under control by the army and various people. I am not scared because I was born and bred in Colombo. How did uh, uh, S.W.R. Dibandhanaka, who was the elite, who went to Oxford, exactly. who came, and but he was leading the people. Exactly. I am doing the same thing. I am leading my people, uh, expressing what, what has to be. How did a man who said in 1926 there should be a federal constitution in this country bring about single only in 1956? Exactly my point is, Minister, that these are the elite. In a power struggle. The elite no, power struggle. but there, were, there is a difference. There is a difference. SWRD wanted, SWRD wanted power. He made use of single only for his. Yes. I am not using any such thing for anything of mine. But what am I going to uh, gain from here? What, what do you think I, I, I have to expect? There is nothing that I want. But that majoritarianism, if that is. Right. I will answer that question. You see, the, there is no question of the South. We are not asking South not to talk about what they want to talk about. We are only talking about ourselves, one. Two, the, the question of bringing about uh, reconciliation is not on that basis. Reconciliation has to be the recognition of each person's individuality. If I don't re re recognize you as a Muslim because of what you are as a Muslim, then we are going to have problems. If you don't recognize me as a Hindu for what I am as a Hindu, then we are going to have problems. So similarly, the reconciliation, if you are trying to say, don't talk about yourselves, don't talk about Muslims, don't talk about Hindus, then you are only wanting us to talk only about the majority community and the majority way of life. This won't do. Recognition of the individuals of constituting the various communities by all, especially the majority community must recognize that. Then only we can move forward. We have to be equals in this business. You can't be having an a uh, hegemonic attitude on the part of the majority community to look down upon us as minorities. We are majorities in the northern and uh, eastern provinces from 2000 years here. So we, we are majorities. The, we were brought together in 1833 by the British. Otherwise we still would have continued to be separate. So that's the point. But if we can join together, some of the things which I would like to stress here are there should not be a dominating hegemonic spirit on the part of the central government as far as the provinces are concerned. I don't know about the other seven provinces because they don't have problem. The problems were because of the North and East that the uh, 1987 uh, Indus Land uh, uh, Agreement came in. So le get rid of this hegemonic spirit on the part of the central government, treat us as equal, discuss matters with us, let us work this out. It is possible that in the next five years we could have a complete change with regard to our political atmosphere and uh, the way in which we are moving 
economically and otherwise. Because, as you know, uh, this is the last thing that I like to tell you. In the 1950, uh, late 50s or early 60s, Lee Kuan Yew said, let me make Singapore as another Ceylon. That's what he said. Because Ceylon was in that position at that time. And today, where are we and where are they? All because you brought just this one law, the single only act and did that, the whole thing changed. Because the hegemonist came in from there. Domination came in from there. Get rid of your domination, treat us as equals, we can do wonders because we will help you, we will help the single community, we will help each other. And we can do very well. We have all the potential to do that. We have all the resources to do that. Except this stupidity that has got into our head. You see, I was conscious of the fact that the Tamils were being treated wrongly even as a Supreme Court judge. I was the first to make, and I suppose the only person up to date, to make a speech in all three languages. And at that time also I mentioned the fact that the Tamils were being, not being uh, treated correctly and treated equally. I'm still continuing the same thing. The fact is, I am trying to bring out the truth, which is the real underlying truth in the behavioral pattern of our people. Now when I bring that out, in a case when I bring it out, nobody is worried, they say, oh, very good judgment. When I bring it out in the social atmosphere, in the social arena, they feel, oh, how can that be? You can't say such things against us. What do you mean, not you can't say? If that is the truth, what's wrong in our trace, doing that? Genocide is something which I have pointed out, is what, what has taken place. Every time you will see whatever I say, is based on truth, is based on facts. If you say it is not based on facts, if I have made an error, my God, I am immediately prepared to say sorry and then look into it and then uh, correct myself. Otherwise, I don't feel wrong in the world, what I am doing. There is no contradiction between my uh, work as a judge, as a Royal College uh, old boy or in any other way than what I am doing there. The only thing that is that is preventing me from that, is I did not express it in so, so many words at the time when I was there because I had no occasion. Now I have taken upon the brief, like a lawyer, I have taken the brief of my people of the northern province. I am putting forward the case of my people, that's all I am doing. But let me, let me ask you this, uh, Mr. Uh, your personal journey again, that you did not face the discrimination that you now today speak of, that you in the end ended up at the highest... Uh, <laughs> right, right. You, you are saying uh, I did not face discrimination, well... For the reason that you were attended. No, 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 you see, you must look at it in a different way. The fact that I did not, uh, or I, uh, th that it is not known where the discriminations came in and how I went through it, is uh, I don't wish to talk about all that. But let us put it the other way around. My student is the Chief Justice today, Mr. Sri Power. He is the only Tamil in the, in the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal. Isn't there discrimination in the, in, the, in the way of... There are Muslims there, but no other Tamil. So, but isn't there discrimination against the Tamils? He's the chief justice of the country. So that's all. One person, what can he do? What can he do when everybody else are going to be... You see, what is happening is, this is, this is JR's uh, famous uh, way of doing. He used to get uh, Kadir Gamar uh, in, in charge of the army, or uh, Sarvananda in charge of the... Uh, this thing, they will put all these Tamils in various places and say, no, we are not discriminating. They are just put in there. You can't do very much. They can do nothing. The, 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 the power is in the hands of the others. So, the, 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 this whole question of discrimination has to be looked at in an overall situation. I am telling you there is discrimination by say, telling in the Supreme Court, apart from the uh, Chief Justice, no other Tamil apart from the, and, uh, and nobody else in the court of appeal. So there is discrimination. Even if you go on a quota basis, there, at least the Muslims are there, but no Tamils are there. The TPC was not my creation. TPC is really Tamil people's, uh, whatever you call it, they, they are people who are, you know, people of some standing in the Tamil community, the civil society, who joined together, came came up, I mean, uh, organized themselves, called me to uh, start it off. I went and started it off. I am not responsible for creating a new party. But some people in our party thought, well, he has now started a new party for himself. I am not interested in starting parties. 
I have not been interested for six months. I kept away trying to get into this politics. It took six months for them to push me into this. I'm still in the same position. I don't want this uh, thing. It doesn't make any difference to me. Because I don't want money, I don't want status, I don't want name, I, everything I have already got it. So there is nothing that I want. So here I am doing the work of an advocate as far as the, his clients are concerned. My clients are the people of the Northern Province. I reflect their feelings. I reflect the feelings, aspirations of, their, of our people correctly and directly. So some people may have the difficulties in accepting it, so there can be friction. But I am not in, uh, in any way in any problems with the uh, uh, you, uh, leadership, no. There are differences with regard to the nuances with regard to how we look at a problem. Well, that could be there, that could be there in any way. That took control of me. My God, these people seem to be having so much of expectation out of this man, whom I, I don't consider as a leader, nor do I consider as uh, capable of uh, doing all this work. So it is that expectation which made me the made me look at one this as another brief that has been given to me, like an advocate. A brief given to me, I have to look after my clients. So now it has enveloped me that there is a responsibility, a duty cast upon me to do my work. I am not at all interested whether I am going to end up uh, as a leader of the Tamils or leader of the TNA or any such thing. It makes no difference to me. This is quite enough. Being a Chief Minister of a province is a, is a, is a great thing from a point of view of uh, position. But I am not after any such position. Concept of a separate state may be, in the, may be in the mind of a few people who are having their own reasons. I think the people by and large have got, 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 got out of that. The, when I was elected with 133,000 votes, I think it's supposed to be a hello big uh, record and various things, the, the platform on which I have been saying is with regard to the integrity of this country, unity of this country with regard to the people. So that has been always there and people voted on that basis and that is now the, 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 the accepted thing. I, mean, I can't go behind, be, behind, beyond that or behind that. So people are of that. But when we ask for federalism, you think it is separation. Federalism is in order to bring the country together. You allow that person to look after yourself, himself, you to you look after yourself, we to look after ourselves, and then we still together we run the country. So federalism is not separation. That's how the politicians have made it out. But federalism is the ideal way to keep the country together. So that is what I'm going around telling. And people are now finding fault with me for saying so. The future.